Hi everybody, this is Peter. Uh, today I'm going to do another one of my uh, tutorial videos for Rinkside Hockey, published by FTP Sports Games, and it's going to feature the dump and chase procedures. So, so um, usually the dump and chase uh, only happens um, from a neutral zone red situation, where, uh, which is a one-on-one -on -one matchup where the offensive player is trying to get by the defensive player, but then he decides to just dump the puck instead because the defensive player's rating is too high to, to risk it. Um, or it could happen from a face-off. Um, sometimes in the face-off rating, you get like a, a T with a red background or a green background. That means that one, uh, in a neutral zone face-off, uh, that means that uh, uh, one team has dumped the puck into the other zone. Okay, so let's say Colorado has um, decided to do a dump and chase. And uh, the dump and chase section is uh, this one here, sort of just, just uh, below the middle, and uh, where it says forecheck. So um, this gives the, uh, the uh, offensive player and the defensive player, because uh, uh, the check is going to be against one or the other, depending on the situation over here. And uh, forecheck, you'll say the... the, the um, the situation in big letters here, forecheck and behind the net just gives uh, the location uh, just for some color. So in this situation, we're just going to have a forecheck and uh, we're going to be check doing an offensive check against the offensive right wing. So the, the right wing is uh, Milan Heyduk. And in a forecheck situation, we're going to be looking at the blue number and comparing it to his uh, offensive forecheck rating, which is 10, which is out of 20. So you would just uh, simply flip your card and check the blue number. 16 is not within his, uh, his offensive forecheck rating. So that means that uh, the defense Buffalo would automatically get the puck and there would be a possible hit, in which case you would look at this um, big hit. You look at this section here for the physical play and uh, um, the, uh, the big hit uh, number and you would check on the defenseman's um, uh, big hit rating in this defensive zone. Uh, the the player doing the defending, you would just look at the original um, four check situation card. So in this case, it would be the center. And you would check his big hit rating, and that wouldn't ha um, in that case that wouldn't happen. If uh, if the if um, hey Duke was successful in uh, getting the puck from the four check, uh, then then that would mean that uh, Colorado would have uh, control of the puck and they would have the offensive options, which I talk about in the uh, in zone play tutorial video um okay another kind of offensive situation that can come up is um so i'll just pick a new card here is this uh o battle and it, and then uh, so you look at the position here so it's the right wing again and you would look at his o battle rating which is this number here this minus five and that's going to be uh a check against the uh, the red number on the next card. So you just flip a card. Red number is one. So Hayduke wins the offensive battle, and um, and that means that Colorado has the puck again, and uh, they have all the offensive options. Uh, and you would just proceed from there. That's you know like the quality shot setup teammate, which I cover in the, the in zone play video. Um, and uh, if um, if the defense, if he doesn't win the offensive battle, then it's automatically recovered by the defense. And then you would also do a check for the hit. In this case, uh, big hit one. So that's probably going to be within somebody's big hit rating. And you would register a big hit, which uh, which would give a momentum bump to Buffalo. Um, okay, so, oh yeah, another... Another example where you're going to do, be doing an offensive check is if you get... Um, uh, icing question mark and let's say okay let's let's pick a different uh, get it see if we can get a different position here for check center so the check the center is the one doing the four checking and we're going to be checking um, the blue number against his uh, FCO rating so Sakix FCO rating is 14 and uh, you, you flip the cards and um, and the blue number there is a 10. And so that would be a uh, uh, would uh, that would just mean that the Colorado would have the puck again. Um, uh, 
Okay, so if, uh, sorry, I'm just checking, uh, just want to make sure I got this thing right. Yeah, and uh, on those defensive recoveries, then you would, uh, the next thing you would do would be the breakout uh, clear. And I cover that breakouts in another video. Um, okay, then you can have uh, sort of a straight up icing. So there's, there's no, there's no check involved there. Um, you can have something called a D battle. And uh, the defensive player would be the right wing. So you would check the uh, defensive player's uh, uh, D battle rating, which is uh, for Satan is uh, 17. And so you'd flip and check the blue number. And the blue number is four. So uh, Satan wins the uh, defensive battle. And uh, you would just proceed uh, to a breakout clear. And you would also do a physical check as well. Um, okay, now uh, you can have a couple of things where the goalie goalie's uh, skills are involved. Um, you would just get simply goalie and with the puck is behind the net. And what you're going to do is look at the uh, goalie's um, um, play puck rating here or the um, control puck rating. And I believe you're looking at a blue. Oh no, these are red. You're going to be checking the red number against this. So uh, Hashik has a very good chance of uh, controlling the puck if you get that that situation. So you just flip flip your card, check the red number against Hasek's play puck rating. It's five. So he uh, um, he plays the puck to the corner, and we uh, you proceed with a loose puck scenario, which is covered in the in zone play tutorial video. Um, if it's uh, if this red number is low enough to be within his control puck um, rating, um, which is three. Um, then that would lead to a uh, a breakout clear for the for the um, defense for Buffalo. Um, okay, so um, another one. Oh yeah, sorry. Here it is. I meant to put that here. Um, uh, goalie risky play is the other one. So in this one, this is another um, another strategy option here where the goalie can choose to um, make the risky play. And so if he does, um, you're going to be looking again at his play puck and control puck rating and looking at the uh, the red number, and it's five. So it's within his control, uh, his play puck rating. So, um, and um, this is another one of these odd even checks. So if it's odd, then it's going to be a breakout clear for Buffalo. But if it's an even number, then it's just going to be a loose puck. Um, if it's within his control puck, if this number red number is within his control puck rating, then it leads to a rush transition for Buffalo. So it's uh, uh, it's definitely a risk reward thing. If uh, if he doesn't make the play, if uh, the the red number is outside his play puck or control puck rating, that means uh, the offense uh, recovers the puck, and uh, you would f you would look at uh, you would flip the puck and you would see. Um, I think I think you uh, draw, draw a new card. If you draw a new card and it says offense dangerous, uh, then then it's an automatic offense dangerous play. It's not um, where you have to check against the offensive player's uh, offensive rating to see if he meets the condition to get that happen. It's an automatic offensive dangerous, and that means the that player in this case the center would have a high not a high quality shot, a quality shot. Um, but uh, if the goalie decides not to do the risky play. Um, that means the offensive player, um, let's go back here. Let's say, uh, this was the offensive player would be say the right wing in this case, the offensive player would get the puck and then, um, you would draw a new card. And if you get offense dangerous, then he would, uh, he would, um, you proceed with, he would have a quality shot on the net automatically. Um, uh, otherwise the offensive player, um, just has, uh, the regular options for setup and quality shot and, or, uh, uh, you know, pass to a teammate, that kind of thing. So that's um, that's what the dump and chase uh, procedure involves. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah, so um, and, uh, because it's a dump and chase, um, um, you're dumping the puck into the offensive zone, so the, the puck uh, goes into the defensive zone, so that's an automatic time sequence. That's uh, the time... Uh, gets advanced in this game, or one of the ways, whenever uh, the puck uh, crosses the blue line and goes into a defensive zone. Okay, so that's uh, the dump and chase procedures. 
for Rinkside Hockey. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.